Prince, the Duke of York, is gearing up for yet more controversy in 2024 after an American judge ruled that unheard evidence about an alleged grope will be made public. Joanna Schoberg claimed Prince Andrew grabbed her breasts at Jeffrey Epstein's New York mansion when she was just 21, and he was playing with a spit image, spitting image puppet of himself, a gift apparently from Epstein's lover, Ghislaine Maxwell. The evidence is included in documents relating to more than 170 people who were either associates, friends or victims of the multi-millionaire sex offender. In a deposition, Schoberg said that she remembers sitting on a sofa with the Duke and Virginia Dufresne in 2001, posing for a photo she claims someone put Andrew's puppet onto Virginia's lap and placed its hand on Virginia's breast. Schoberg said she then sat on Andrew's lap of her own volition when he put his hand on her breast. Virginia Dufresne later claimed she had sex with Andrew that same year when she was only 17. She sued him for battery and infliction of emotional distress in 2021. The Duke of York denies the allegations from Schoberg and reached an out-of-court settlement with Dufresne. It's been long rumoured, at least throughout the whole of this year, that there was more coming about Andrew and that Andrew couldn't now relax that this sorry episode uh, was behind him. I'm not aware of whether this is it, this is what the rumours were. It, it's, it's very interesting that these names, as we said, some of which um, were our accusers, some of which were, were witnesses, some of which were possible victims, had been kept secret. This judge has now said there's, there was no point in keeping them secret and they will be revealed in just a couple of weeks' time. Could Andrew be any more damaged than he already is, I suppose, is, is, is one question. I mean, obviously, if there are multiple victims, not that he admits that there are, he, there are any victims, he still denies all the allegations, but at the moment, he's out in the wilderness anyway. Whether or not this might lead to another settlement, who knows? I think it's such a complicated story, actually, and I feel desperately sorry for the king in his coronation year. And I think he, if you look at the popularity of the king now, it went from 50% up to 70%. Those lovely uh, moments with Camilla, you know, that stuff where they, they joke with the archbishop and so on. And here's Andrew. I was looking back at my notes from last year. Do you remember the king overruled, we think, William to allow Andrew back into the fold? Mm, yeah. And so here we are. We've got the difference between the crown, the monarchy, the family, and the tensions between the two of them. I think this is extraordinary. Also, we were talking just before the show. This, this uh, lady, Shoba, was 21 at the time. She said it was done in a joking manner. Everyone laughed. She was 21, above the age of consent, but at the same time, all of these names are going to be released. I think, this is a, I think this is a really, really complicated and tricky story, but there will be people, I think, who are, will have a very tricky Christmas mm. waiting yeah. for January. Yeah. And one imagines if they will gather at Sandringham, it could be a pretty tricky Christmas. I mean, I think you're right. The damage now to Prince Andrew is irrevocable. You know, his, his, uh, the British public have decided whatever we, you know, they've, yeah. they've made up their mind about Andrew. I think the damage is now being done to the king. But he just can't get ahead of this. He can't get a break, can he? He's got, on the one hand, he's had a fantastic coronation mm. year, really popular with the public. Um, but on the one hand, he's got Andrew and these bubbling revelations and what more can come out. On the other hand, he's got Harry and Meghan and they will not just let him be a sort of <laughs> happy and glorious king. It's, it's surely his uh, initial way out of the whole thing. I know age of consent in that state, I think it was 18 mm. when she was apparently 17. Uh, but I, somebody said to me quite real, a lawyer said to me, his better defence would have been to say, yeah, we did have a ding dong. It was a you know, casual affair. It was very brief. That's what happened. He would never have been subpoenaed to go to the States. It would have probably stopped him from ever going there again, but he could have lived with that. And I think he'll make a similar defence in this kind of case. I think what's going to be more interesting is whether this outpouring of additional information... I mean, we can focus on Andrew and say, well, you know, this is interesting, and the damage to the king, as you rightly say, is, is really unfortunate. But there may be other names that come out in this. I don't think it's the which seems to be a bit of a fictitious, you know, the list of the paedophile island. Yes, it's the uh, Lolita Express. The Lolita remember. Express. Yeah. Supposedly all these names are on it and they, they, you, you look on the internet and the, the, somebody just adds a name at will every single week, it seems. Everybody seems to be on there. Um, I don't think it's going to be like that, but I think there might yeah. be some intriguing connections mm. and we begin to see a, a little more about Epstein's life. Yeah, this may sound harsh, but I don't think from what Schoberg has said, mm. it doesn't sound that bad 
especially compared to what Dufre had, had accused yep. uh, Andrew of. But I'm with you, David. I think this is bad for King Charles. Mm. What can he do more to distance himself from his brother? You can stop him from going to family events, but he's still his brother. No, well, that's well. Of course, we we had the the issue where it looked like he he Andrew was being asked to vacate his his big mansion in Windsor. He seems to have won that battle. And then, of course, uh, you mentioned Emma at Christmas at Sandringham. Will Andrew be like he was last year? You know, there going to the church service, which quite a few people were shocked about last year. But of course, the royals view that as a private event, not, mm. a, not even though we yeah. get to see them, not a public event. Um, there has been more bad news for Andrew, if you can uh, believe it. This is a, another very, very complicated case, but, but almost murkier in a way. Um, so he's found himself embroiled again in this court case. Um, there's a woman suing uh, the former banker, Salman Turk. Um, she's suing him, saying that and, and she's Turkish, saying that uh, he's stolen a lot of her money. In the course of that court case, um, £1.4 million was revealed to have been paid to Andrew and Fergie and the daughters. Now, this all happened a couple of weeks ago. And again, Andrew has settled that case out of oh. court. But now, as another part of this uh, case, it's turned out that not only did Andrew invite this allegedly very dodgy banker um, called uh, Selman Turk to St James's Palace, um, also invited a Libyan gun smuggler. Yeah. And there you, you see them there um, to St. James's <coughs> Palace. Um, and as I said, Andrew has now reached a, a settlement because basically the 1.4 million that he had, that he received, it turned out wasn't even the bankers to give. It was this woman who's suing him. So this is why it's got very, very complicated. Right. But I was looking again through the case today. Fergie got £250,000 for being a... Um, uh, you know, a, a personality involved with with an energy company. Mm, yeah. Really, two hundred and fifty well, grand. So, so what is this? A, a serial lapse of judgment? Because I, I can forgive a lapse of judgment, but when you start seeing things like this again, yeah. yet more revelations. I mean, to invite those sort of people to St James's Palace, yeah. I just think it's pretty unforgivable. Do you know, I wrote I wrote a book ten years ago called seriously called sixty seven. JJ knows this. He was the only person that bought it. <laughs> so it was called sixty seven people I'd like to slap. It was a you know in a in a, in a funny way. Right. And Prince Andrew was in that mainly because not because of the stuff we. Mm. got to know more recently, but because of the company he keeps. Mm. Yeah. There yeah. was a big old list. And he always did. Interesting characters.